let's take a quick look at the asset that we are going to build in the next couple of hours. I have here this terrain and these two paths that I just created. So I'm going to install the tool, it's called CGC Bridge. And as you see, as default, the tool has its own terrain and its own curve. So I'm going to replace these defaults with the ones I have here. So I will plug in the curve in the curve slot and the terrain in the terrain slot. So you see how the default terrain disappeared and we have this bridge placed in here. So here you see that I can play with some of the parameters I have here. For example, this is the top support. So if I go to the top supports length and make it smaller, I have more and more segments and I have a denser bridge. This is all updated with all the bolts in place and all the beams connecting. You see that we have some missing beams and planks. This is because we have this random deleting chance. We have 6% of the components missing and we can randomize that and many other things with this seed. So if I change the seed, I get a different distribution. Everything can be customized. So for example, if I go into the trust pillars, I can give them a wider angle. For example, 15, you see that we have a wider bridge and everything updates. The bridge interacts with the terrain and only creates beams where it's possible to. I can go into the curve and adjust it in real time. So I see the bridge updating and everything is working. So once we have this, it's very simple to just duplicate the bridge and change the curve to this one I have here. So I get another bridge with the same properties as the one I have here. One of the cool things of this tool is that we can input our own geometries in here. For example, if I go here, I have this custom plank and this custom log that I can use to instantiate on the bridge. So if I come to this bridge here, I can go and replace these proxy planks with the one I have here. So I will, I will go into the top planks and I have two planks, you see, one and two. So I can go here, enable two different geometry slots and plug in the first plank and plug in the second plank. So you see how we have these detailed planks in here replaced. And I can do the same with the, for example, the truss tops. This is this component here. I can go to the truss tops and select the log I had there. So I can select the log and put it in here. And now I can change the measurements. So I can go in the trash tops and make them round. So I have a round lock supporting the beams. Now I could, for example, make this gap smaller in here. So these are tighter and I can tweak everything that you see here. There's also a control for selecting only part of the curve so you can only use half or maybe just this here or animate this or whatever so this is it let's start with the first lesson where we will create the hda and the main inputs bye bye